In this tutorial, I'm going to be using this circuit to build a PCB. Now, before I go into the PCB, there's a few things I need to just check. Obviously, run the program, check it actually everything works. Um, check that I've got my 9 volts diode switch, my two capacitors, one small, one big. Uh, one's uh, just a normal one, one's electrolytic. I've got three switches here. They've all got pull downs. I've got um, using a transistor here that's got the uh, 1K to protect the base. I've got a LCD screen, so I'm just going to quick look at that. That's got the 5 volts going into it, power and data, good. And I've got three LEDs, all with 330 load resistors. And I'm just checking that the buzzer is going around to before the, uh, the 7 8, so it has got its um, 9 volts going to it. One thing I will change on here is just looking at the transistor. I'm just going to double click on there because there are lots of different sorts and that's going to help me with an expert. So I'm going to make that a BC547B. Okay. That should say underneath there. Right. So I'm now going to go into, um, let's make that into PCB. So I click up the top here. I go next. Single thin, allow me to customize. Next. Next. Next standard next untick automatically place next and convert okay i'm going to say yes and that's going to throw all the bits in there like that so i'm going to go to normal view now i'm going to try and build it the same way as it was on the circuit okay so the first thing i've got here is my power so i'm going to bring my power uh, i'm going to probably pop it about there i think okay now obviously i'm using the green lines so that's going to tell me what's next and I didn't want to do that, so let's try that. It should be the, the diodes next. Okay, so I need to rotate that round the way. Okay, I'm going to move that to there. So you can see that's going up into there. Next up is, uh, they've got a switch next. Okay, I probably would have done it the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to flip, do I want to flip that around? Just going to move this kind of close as I can. Obviously, when I'm doing these, get rid of any labels you think are uh, not useful. Just click on push delete. Anything uh, okay that you uh, just to kind of make it as simple as possible. Try and get things as close as you can. If you can, you have to go right click down to snap grid and make sure it's on the smallest increment, which is 0.025 inches. Okay, and that sh should be able to I can move things a little bit closer. Uh, together now, obviously, the advantage of closer together means it's less tracks, less things can break, less things can go wrong. Okay, ideally, and obviously, I'm using less track, which is uh, expense longer to ex um, when you're actually processing, it's going to take longer to um, etch and develop and things like that. So, smaller is much better. Okay, so let's have a look. What's next? Should be my 7 8. Okay, if I'm not sure, obviously, I can go back to here and have a look. So, we've got that the diode, the switch. And the seven eight, okay. So uh, now I'm gonna rotate this around. Um, let's have a look. That's going into that pin there. And again, I'm gonna get rid of these labels because they're just they're not really helping very much. Uh, make sure you don't overlap anything. It's good to be tight in, but obviously not to overlap. Um, that's gonna go to there. This is going to be my output. That's the input pin. Um, not sure. Oh, obviously this is going off to the um, to give me the nine volts. So that's going to go off that way. Okay. So uh, should we wire up these few bits? So let's wire up those few things while we're there. So I'm just going to pop a track tool in and go left click, left click, right click, and the right click is just to stop it drawing. So I'm not not keeping drawing. I can go into there. I'm going to bring this down to there and into there okay so i've already kind of made a little nine volt circuit so the power is going through here through the diode through my switch into the 7805 ground's going down there and this is going to be my five volts coming off here okay so that's going to white arrow back up now next should be the actual chip that i'm using okay and in this case i'm using uh, what am i using here genie 14 okay so uh, this is very much just like the eight. Okay, so power at the top there, ground coming on this one here. Okay, and I've got my 
my same kind of my programming pin and my status over here programming pins there so very soon first four pins are exactly the same as the genie 8 it's just got more of them more inputs more outputs okay so i'm going to move that there uh not i'm not going to crowd it in too much because i'm probably going to want to have some space here for things to come off because i can see there's, there's something connected there there's something connected here so i need some space for my um my switches so I'll give it a little bit a little bit of a gap there okay above that I want to put my 100k resistor and my 22 let's just spin that around I'm just using control R and I'll bring that in as well okay and I'm just going to park that on top of there all right um let's have a think so does that look right do, 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 do. Um, okay, I don't think that's the right way around. Let's have a look. Is that the wrong way around as well? Yes, that sounds better. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy that. Just in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I want it so that this one here is going off to ground. Um, these two are connected up. This one's going to go to that pin there. And then I'll run the download through the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to move that label to there. Uh, get rid of these R ones because again they're not particularly useful. I don't need to know that's the the fifth resistor or anything like that. It's not going to help me in any way. Okay, so I'm just going to move that across to there. Let's bring this into there and move that 22 because that is worth having those labels on there. Okay, I'm going to put the download socket in. So uh, there we go, that goes bang on top there. And I can move that blue line here, this is the edge, right onto there. Really important that when I do that, that's going to cut that bit off there, because otherwise I won't be able to plug the actual download in. Okay, let's wire this up. Uh, so let's start over here. So, do, 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 do. so nice and easy, uh, just connect those three together there. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, now this one here, this is ground, okay, well actually let's do, let's do power, let's do power, so I've got power going into my chip uh, there, I might just move that up a little bit, I don't like the fact that it's not quite linking, there we go, okay, just being a bit uh, exacting there, but I like it to be fit together nicely, okay, so I've now got power into my chip, and I want the ground. So what I'm going to do with the ground is I'm going to run that around the houses. So I'm going to bring it up here, uh, up to there, through here, because obviously there's a, just a, a socket here. It's not there's nothing actually going on. It's just the uh, the metal pins at the bottom that are the useful ones. Okay, and then I can just bring that straight into there. That's ground now, and I can bring ground to that pin there, and that's going to come across here into the middle then down to ground okay so i've now got power going around here i've got nine volts over here five volts goes into this pin here and the ground goes around the houses there and into there okay so i've actually now got power to my chip so let's wire up the download now i have to be careful with this bit because obviously this bit isn't actually checked by the um, computer all right, sorry, there might have been a little pause in the sound there. My computer decided to die, but uh, luckily the recording carried on. So here we go. Uh, so we were just up to the point of just checking this. So obviously the left pin here, okay, left pin of the download needs to go uh, to ground, okay? The right-hand pin should go through a 100K to ground and then through a 22. Now the 22 then goes to this pin here, which is the uh, programming pin. So I'm just going to run a track from here around to there. Okay. And then you can just about see there's a green line going from the middle pin here, and that goes to that pin there. Okay. So I've now connected up. Now, if you think that's looking a bit a bit sort of tight in there or whatever, you can always change the width of the tracks. So if I double click on there, the default's 1.02 mils. And I can change that probably quite happily to sort of 0 0.7 or 75. Okay, and that will just give me a little bit more, a little bit more leeway. 
uh, when they're etching that they're not going to touch or connect or anything like that. Okay, so I've now got uh, power to my chip and it's connected to the download. Really important that that's all right because obviously that's not checked by circuit wizard. It will, it will say it's quite happy and off it goes and then it won't, it won't do anything at all. Okay, so I've got five minutes just looking at my time that I've got to add in the rest of the things. Okay, so eek. Right, let's see if we can put in a input. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my circuit. Let's grab this one. So I'm looking at pin six uh, for a push to make and then a download. Okay, so let's have a look at pin six. So counting down the way, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this pin here, that's my D1. Okay, so I think it's going to be, well, actually they are labelled. Does it say that one? Let's try it. Let's move it in there and see what happens. Okay, so I'm moving down there. You can see that's connected to this pin here. So actually this one's further up the way, so might as well use this one. Okay, this is crossing over, so I'm going to spin that around. Okay. Now, the pins, the switches, are all going to need to have power to one end. So if I was doing lots of switches, I'd probably have one and then the next one and the next one and the next one. And then I can run power through them there. Okay. Now, obviously, the other end, so if I just put power in there, so I can just bring that straight up the way. Okay, there, that's got power. This has got to go to a chip. Uh, I might move it up a little bit just so it goes straight. And da -da -da, down a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just going to run that straight into the pin there. Okay. Now, obviously, the other thing, the line's going off here, that's going for my uh, 10k pull down. So I'm just going to try and follow that if it'll let me. Uh, now, sometimes if these are, are too crazy, it's, it's sometimes worth just sort of spacing things out and throwing things around the way. So if I put the switches very, very quickly, because I'm conscious that I've only got a minute or so left on this. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Right, it's going to be one of these 10Ks. Let's see if we can follow it. Is it that one? No, that's a capacitor. Where is it going? Um... A switch, but the switch is on that side. Um, LEDs, so you, so you can see that goes into there. That's going to go into that that three thirty there to ground. So I could, why don't I just quickly do a, a, an output while we're here, okay? Because I can see that's quite clearly that's meant to be uh, into there. So that's just my LED, and that's going to go into there. And then I've got my 330. Do use the resistors as jumpers if you need to, okay? So if you're thinking, oh, something's in the way, whatever, you can always use this to jump over something or, or give you a gap underneath where you can run something else. Okay, so that's going to be quite a handy little thing. So I'm just going to run that wire to there, and then wire to there, and then a wire to there. Okay, so there's, there's one output done, all right? Okay, let's see if I can quickly finish off this one input. Uh, where's it gone? No, it really does not want to be found. Let's try moving that one. No. Uh, it seems to be going there. Um, crikey. I wonder if it'll show me on here. Let's have a look. If I, ah, it's right. Okay. So... Which one did we do? We did the one that was going to pin four, I think. Is that right? Pin four. So it should be R1. Okay, let's use the label. So this, in this case, hopefully the labels might actually be useful. So I can see R1 is all the way over there. Okay, let's move that there. And yeah, you can see here at that end there is connected to that bit there. So let's have a look. What can I do? What would be a nice... Um, tidy way of doing that. I could run that there because um, then obviously I can run the next one underneath. Mm, um, it's going to ground. I could go up the way. I think the time is going to run out here but I'm going to be quick. Run it up the way there because that's obviously ground there. So there's nothing stopping me putting that 
there and quickly running a track from there to there and that